We are at Prakriti Hydro Labs assembly unit in Kanakpura Road, and this is Mr. Murli, the founder member of Prakriti Hydro Labs. Murli is yeah. going to explain to us the test setup he has in his assembly unit. Over to you, Murli. Yeah, We have our testing unit from 1 to 5 kilowatts. We have a pump for generating the required head. This is the pump. This goes through this pipe. Yeah, so this is this is the pump, the pump generating the required which, head. Which simulates the head. Yeah. And yeah. This is a valve for controlling. This is a valve for controlling. This is a pressure gauge. This is what is the pressure. This is a generator. Water running as generator. This is a turbine. This is a single nozzle machine. After popping through the machine, the energy gets converted, flows through this. We have a capacitor for self-excitation. Then, this is the input, also coming from the generator. This is the control panel. This is the input plug. This is the input from the yeah, turbine. Generator. This is the, the output. output. Going to the load. You can yeah. see the load there. This so, the control the panel also has an electronic load controller. controller. For controlling... Uh, the power generated between the user load and the dummy load. This is the user load. So dummy that load. plays the role of the user load right now. So there are five bulbs of yeah. 200 watts each. Yeah. So this is a one kilowatt system. Yeah. And so now it's 800 watts, and the rest of the 200 watts is here. This yeah. Is so this is a dummy load. Air resistor being used as a dummy load. Right. You can see here the voltage is kept the same as it was earlier. Even though the use of this only 220 volts all the time. Right. In on the Osman Kira. Okay. So despite change in load, the voltage is kept uh, stable. That's the role of the electronic load co controller. Uh, Murli, this is a product that PHL is making. Yeah. Uh, can you briefly explain? What the use of this product is on field, who uses it, where? Very uh, briefly. This is uh, used where you have a flowing water of maybe 15 meters to 30 or 15 meters set. Used in estates, coffee estates, tea estates, farms. Wherever you have a flowing stream for yeah. maybe more than 6 months a year, it is possible to be used. Yeah, so you have installed around how many of these? Uh, so far you have installed around 250 machines in Karnataka. So over around a period of 3 years. Yeah, over a period of 3 yeah. years. 250 yeah, machines, so largely for remote people who do not have access to electricity. Yeah, most of them, yes. Each costs approximately how much? Around uh, installation, including installation and all the other services, around 90,000 per kilowatt, for a 1 kilowatt. System. Plus the civil cost? Yeah, plus the civil cost. So overall project cost, we expected to be around 1,50,000 rupees. Okay. Roughly. Okay, thank okay. you, Murli. Thank you.